underserved communities all around the world suffer a heavy burden caused by infectious diseases, most of them zoonosis. Heterophiasis is an infection endemic in Southeast Asia. In the Philippines, some underserved communities in Davao are primarily agricultural and engage in commercial fishing. Underserved communities live closely with their animals. Animals are a source of livelihood for people. Their main water sources are rainwater and the Sa Ug River. They collect water and use it for cooking and washing purposes. It is common to have undercooked or salted fish containing different parasites. One of the present issues is heterophiasis. The parasite attaches to the intestinal mucosa and is passed in the host's species. Embryonated eggs with fully developed larvae undergo several developmental stages in the snail. The larvae insist in the tissue of suitable freshwater fish, the second intermediate host. The definite host will become infected by ingesting undercooked fish containing the parasite. Symptoms due to this parasite are generally mild and transient. The most frequent clinical manifestations include abdominal pain, diarrhea, lethargy, anorexia, malabsorption and weight loss, migration of the eggs to the heart, resultant in potentially fatal myocardial and valvular damage has been reported from the Philippines. So, what can we do? Intervention methods for the improvement of zoonotic diseases include avoiding the consumption of raw or undercooked fish. Ensure that fish is grilled and cooked thoroughly. Water sanitation is produced by heating water well past its boiling points so that it begins to vaporize. Good personal hygiene, such as washing hands before cooking and eating, will help underserved communities fight these diseases. Another intervention method is going at a population level with annually deworming. The second one is the proper disposal of excreta. Lastly, multidisciplinary interventions involving public health and veterinary services, as well as health education and promotion to vulnerable populations. Let's make sure to leave no one behind. One health for all. <laughs>